Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run example problems with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, same as usual, single filer, Mr. Anderson, no dependents. We've got the 100,000 W-2 income, the standard deduction at the 12,950 getting us to the 87,050. If I pull that on over to our tax formula worksheet, 100,000 income, 12,950, 87,050 taxable income. We've got the tax calculated by the software page two at the 14,774. The 15,000 of the withholdings that we're gonna say gets us to the 22,226. Uh, so there it is here, 226. We're mainly focused on the first half. First half hour we separate, then. The income side, the income statement or taxable income calculated on page one. And we're now considering the unemployment compensation. So usually if there's unemployment compensation, you'll get the form for it. And it's a pretty straightforward type of thing because you'll have a 1099G typically and that usually indicates that we have income. The most complicated thing oftentimes from a tax preparation standpoint for the unemployment compensation is discussing it with the client because they're often gonna say, hey, I thought I thought that, uh, that they didn't include unemployment compensation. And it's like, well, yeah, that's because last year they did funny stuff, with the whole COVID thing, and they tried to remove the unemployment compensation, but it was only a temporary thing, like a lot of the temporary stuff, and now it's back. So now they're including it again. They might say, well, why does that make sense? Because the government is giving me money, and then the government wants the money back. You'll have your money back in 30 days. And it's like, well, yeah, that's because the state government is giving the money for the unemployment compensation or the local government. But on the federal side of things, they see that as, in essence, you know, compensation. Compensation for last night's unfortunates. And whatnot for the income tax purposes or whatever. And that's just kind of like the rule. Well, what about the fact that I didn't, in, I didn't have any withholdings on the unemployment compensation? And it's like, well, that might work out good. That might work out bad. Because if you lost your job in the middle of the year, your withholdings up until that point were probably over withheld which means that might be enough to cover your unemployment compensation. However, if you got a significant amount of unemployment compensation and very little withholdings, then yes, that could result in a bad tax consequence. Okay, that said, if I just jump to the 1099G and we just say this is gonna be the state uh, unemployment, unemployment, I probably spelled it wrong, whatever. Don't let it drive you crazy or anything. This is gonna be then right here unemployment compensation so let's say we got ten thousand there boom and then if i go back on over that's going to pull on over into our form so we're on the schedule one and there's the ten thousand line number seven that then is going to be totaling up down below at the ten thousand pulling back into the form 1040 1040 still have the w2 income at the one hundred thousand and then I'm saying that there's unemployment compensation. Now, it, you would think that maybe the income wouldn't be quite so high if they had unemployment compensation from the W-2 income, but just an example problem here. So that brings us up to 110,000, and then we've got the standard deduction and so on. If you want to put that into our form over here, we can say that's going to be a Schedule 1 income item. And so I've got alimony, alimony. here. So I'm going to add some lines and say, I'm just going to say unemployment 